solving equations with 0, 1, or infinitely many solutions. For each equation, choose the statement that describes its solution. If applicable, give the solution. The first one says 5 times parentheses w plus 2 and a parentheses plus w equals 3 times the parentheses w minus 1 and the parentheses plus 1. So we are going to first distribute across the parentheses. And I'm going to rewrite it as 5w plus 10 plus w equals 3w minus 3 plus 1. Okay, so now we are going to combine like terms. So I want to have all the w's on one side, so I'm going to move this over to this side. And now I have 5 w plus 1 w minus 3 w, so let's see, 5, 6, 6 subtract 3 gives us 3 w, and then we still have this 10. And on this side, this made 0, and then we have this negative 3 and this one, so let's condense that to negative 2, right, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So then we want to move this 10 over to the other side. We'll subtract 10, that's the opposite of 10. That gives us 3w on this side and minus 12 over here. Now we're going to divide by 3 on both sides to get rid of this coefficient of 3. w equals minus 4. So now we know that this statement is true only for one case. And that is where w equals negative 4. So we have this answer w equals negative 4. All right, let's try the next equation. 4, paren four times parentheses u plus 1 and a parentheses minus u equals 3 parentheses u minus 1 and a parentheses plus 7. So let's distribute again. That's the first step is to distribute. So we have 4u plus 4 minus u equals 3u minus 3 plus 7. So we got this 4u from times in 4 times u. We got this 4 from multiplying 4 times 1. Then we kept this minus u. Then we have 3 times u equals 3u. And 3 times this negative 1 gives us negative 3. And then we still have this plus 7. We are going to combine like terms. Let's start with just doing the two u's on this side. 4u minus u gives us 3u. 4 and negative 1 gives positive 3. Plus we still have this 4. On this side we have 3u and then we have combining these two, minus 3 and plus 7, we have 4. Oh, look what happened. Now we have two things that are the same. Let's uh, combine like terms again though and we'll subtract 3u from both sides. Now we have 4, this became 0, and this becomes 0. 4 equals 4. That is a true statement. That's always true. 4 is always equal to 4. So it doesn't matter what u is. This is a true statement all the time. So that means all real numbers are solutions. It says all real numbers are solution means that if u is 1, it's true. If u is 2, it's true. If u is 100, it's true. For any value of u, 4 will still equal 4.